and welcome back guys to part 13 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, it's been quite a little while since I've actually played this. So uh, in the last part, I do believe that we just apprehended, <laughs> apprehended, uh, it's probably the wrong word to use, but uh, we got ourselves uh, a hands-on a nifty little robot called uh, Robo. Yeah, because we're very inventive like that. And uh, Luca, Luca um, got forcefully offered to stay behind so she can open the door when we activate the power here in the factory. Because we need to be able to get home. Yes, we do. If we don't get home, things could be bad for us. Override security system, double zero. And that causes things to fall from the sky. Apparently acid that can attack us. <laughs> Not too sure how that all works and uh, fits together. But, if I do recall, uh, after this battle, uh, this ass is going to give us enough, uh, enough tech points to uh, unveil a new tech that comes with a robo. Unlike uh, other characters um, that we've run into thus far, a robo actually doesn't have an element. Yeah, there we go. Dual tech Aurora Beam. He doesn't actually have an element uh, because, well, he's a robot. You know, it makes actually complete sense. <laughs> And, uh, pretty much, that stops, um, let's see, let's do that. Um, it, it makes it so, uh, he learns techs at a different rate than everybody else. Like, right now, Chrono and, uh, Marley here can't actually learn any new techs, but he'll be able to learn them indefinitely. So, a lot of his techs are based off of other elements and absorbing them. But we'll, we'll see, we'll get into that more later on and everything like that. It's not something you really need to worry about, and uh, I, I don't really fully understand the mechanics, nor that I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm, I'm not H.C. Bailey. If you're looking for, you know, an actual general skill walkthrough about every nitty-gritty detail, he's probably better for it. But we're going to go down here first, um, just because this is a lot more difficult than it could be, and I just totally went where I'm not supposed to. <laughs> But, uh, do to do we are going to go this way. Oh, let's not do that. I don't want to get grabbed by the, uh, by the arm of justice. Stupid arm of justice. Alright, let's see. We should be able to make this one. It's the next one that's, uh, a little bit more difficult to make. I think, if I remember correctly, you're really supposed to wait for the, um... For the two that, ah, uh, yeah, those two, you're supposed to wait for those two, and then you'll have enough space to run in between. But this is really for nothing really that important. It's, uh, I can just make it. So I got the ether, so you don't want to go after these two, I don't think. I don't think you have enough time. No, don't have, definitely don't have enough time. You want to wait for the ones that have a little two space. And do not make contact with these. I, I had a problem with this during my practice file. Is if you make contact with them, then uh, you'll have uh, a little bit of an issue, shall we say. Now, do I want to fight these bugs? Do I really want to fight them? Aw, oh, I totally just made face contact. Oh, it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, tech cyclone. Really? I can only hit... I can only hit... Three of them with that cyclone? That's kind of ridiculous. Of course, they have to apparently fly into everybody. <laughs> I'll show off uh, Aurora Beam in uh, due time. Okay, it does hit all four. I just couldn't see the um, thing of Bob. Does it all go after Marley, too? That's pretty funny. Ooh, got a heal. Oh, and laser spin. Ooh, and rocket roll. Yay. This is just gonna get better and better. Let's use some of the No, don't switch that with mid-tonics. Just heal up. Not really that necessary, but you never know. I want to save my MP for uh, a specific battle that happens later on. Definitely need to do that. Grab that. Want to grab these treasures first. Not that I really need them first, just to show that you can, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so contrain control is X and A, and code 
one is BB, so I have to remember that. Uh oh. These guys are having some issues. Wow, I can actually leave here without making contact with them. That's pretty awesome. I did not know that. Score one for uh, the Supercilium, I guess. This is what I like about this game, and this is like I think the first RPG that I ever played that you were able to skip the random battles. Like I probably should do do them. Uh, maybe I'll do them off screen. And we need to use the crane. And I always forget where to use the crane. Uh, do do do. Is do you actually use it with this? I can't remember. I'm fairly sure the crane controls are somewhere different. Yeah, the crane controls are in a complete different area, and I totally just made contact with that. Why Why did I select that one? Uh, uh, that's He's not even close. Actually, Chrono's in a good position to slash, actually. Pew! <laughs> yes, that is actually a pew pew. He has a rocket fist, I don't know why. <laughs> that's that's really really funny. Attack. No, not cyclone. Slash. Slash attack. Sweet. I should show off uh, that rocket punch. Uh, rocket punch. Rocky punch. Yeah yeah. It's always like I said. It always bothers me. I'm like, why can't Robo just? use a, his rocket arm normally. Why does he have to use up magic points? Or mental points. I don't know what they're called in this game. But that was a waste of time, because that does not operate the crane. Uh, I actually always forget where you operate the crane. That's uh, be a handy tool to remember where. No, I don't. No bugs. Oh. Seriously, if you're gonna go that side of the room, why can't you run through the door? <laughs> I think... I think that just happened. Is that a robot? Did that robot just get put, a, put to sleep? How does that work? That's a good question. How does... How does that work? How does putting Robo to sleep work? trying to think like it I guess it used some sort of supersonic frequency that causes the robots uh, internal sensors to shut down temporarily the fact that I'm justifying this is kind of ridiculous hmm oh I totally just did that I totally just did that uh, here we go Actually, I think I may need to come this way, actually. I think I do need to be grabbed by the crane now. But this is just a series of battles, which are actually really good to level up on. Um, just so, so you know. They're a very, very good tool. But there's, there's Aurora Beam. Or, yeah, which is pretty much just laser beam mixed with, uh, whatchamacallit with Aurora, so it looks exactly like Aurora Swirl, Swirl, something. <laughs> ah, my commentary is ridiculous right now. I don't know. I am still tired, which is kind of ridiculous, because about two hours ago I woke up from a 12-hour sleep. I, like, got home from work at around 6.30, I passed out, and I didn't wake up until 6.30 today. I'm still tired. <laughs> I need to take another nap. This may need to happen. Alright, so let's use a cyclone here. Then we'll use a robo laser spin. That sounds like a good plan. Marley had to attack the middle one. Alright, Marley, you attack that. Robo, you get that laser spin on. Pew, pew, pew! And also, one thing to note is, um,. If most of the time, I believe most of Robo's moves are considered dark type moves, so they have, uh, I guess, uh, some sort of, uh, God, I can't even, 
can't even speak right now. They they have the element of darkness to them, so enemies that are weak or susceptible to dark, or vice versa, um, yeah, a robo can affect will be affected by that, as well as uh, certain other moves. But we'll we'll get into that a little later on. Take care of that. I'm definitely in no danger of dying here, so. I laser beam that. But this is probably one of the more monotonous tasks that you need to do. And wow. You didn't die that time. That's kind of weird. Damn it. <laughs> Let me at least select my tech. Of course, they're not close to each other right now. There. That should do just nicely. There we go. There's a critical hit. That's probably what happened the last time. Or he just had like one, uh... <laughs> He's had one HP left. Oh, really? It puts you here? Well, that was useless. That is tremendously useless. One thing is weird is, why does the conveyor belt move me faster than the actual enemy? That is a good question. Hmm. Question for another day, I guess. Hmm, quite. Oh, there's the there's a rainbow bow or a rainbow. <laughs> is that is that what what did, did I read that correctly? That was a rainbow. Oh boy. Now why am I on? Yeah. Oh no, it's a robin bow. Okay. <laughs> I thought that that it was actually called rainbow. <laughs> that would have been kind of ridiculous. Do do. Mm -hmm. do, do. do, do. There it is. That's what I was thinking of what was in this door. There's always some issues during my practice file on remembering what, uh... Oh yeah, we can't go this way right now. Uh, I need to use the crane controls, but I believe that's on a different level. <laughs> do, do, do. Maybe I'll remember. Oh, what? What is that? What is that poop? Poop, I say. Back. a slash. I can get a slash. Oh, really? Combo or a beam. Jeez, Robo took a lot of damage there. Holy cow. Pew. I'll probably start skipping battles that I've played before. Maybe I'll start doing that. So, if I get run into the same random battle um, over and over again, I will, uh, I'll cut them out from now on. I think that's how we'll roll. Ooh, well, I won't cut this one out, because this part's almost over. And, uh, I've got a perfect place to stop, because I'm not actually feeling the recording right now. And I, I, I don't want my, uh, commentary to be any more, uh, problematic than it already is. So if you'll excuse me, we're just gonna go down here. I probably missed the, the crane controls completely, and I'm doing something completely different. But, we are now here. We are saved. Bam! Right there. And, uh... I think that is all. And that is what she wrote. Uh, actually, you know what? I will use a shelter. And I'll do that on screen for you guys. That will increase all that. But... That is enough of that. So I will see you guys next time as we finish off the factory in part 14. Take care, stay frosty, and uh, yeah, still haven't, uh, don't get lost in time. There we go. Let's say that for now. <laughs>